Roman remains here and as you can see we have rebuilt a ship armed it up to the teeth with railguns that are pretty good that I found and some excruciatingly good cannons now this thing has about the same amount of uh, well, a bit less shielding and well, the same amount of hull that my, pre that my previous ship had so and upgrades wise it does not have any good upgrades it's more just for armor I just cheat in a bunch of upgrades so that I can like get a bunch of weapons we've already repaired the warp to zero zero for the end boss and we are going to go fight it this is by no means a pretty ship it could be a hell of a lot better granted but in any case it's still not bad let's see how, how much of a shielding we can take down this first bit really powerful weapons that I currently have. Maybe a bit too powerful. But I just got a bunch of stuff together just so I can make attempt to take it out. Now granted, look at this ship. Whenever I sh fire those cannons, the entire ship moves. That is hilarious. Even like this, it's going to take me a while to kill it. I see. It's going to take me a while to kill it, but these guys should be no problem. Yeah, like that. They shouldn't be a problem. That's the main body. I can't even shoot that guy just yet. Now, of course, my PC is lagging now. As it should. Well, technically, it shouldn't, but hey. My PC thinks it's a good thing to be lagging, so yeah. Oh, I'm actually losing my shield quite quickly. As long as I keep one of them alive, it shouldn't be a problem. And then I can... Ooh. The one... Ooh, there's, there's a bunch more of them. Well, in any case, they're dead now. If I can actually hit, that might help. By taking out most of its extra helpers, I can reduce the amount of damage it can do tremendously. Thereby making it easier for me to tank it out and kill it. The only problem is, look at how little amount of damage I'm doing. Well, there's six million. It's designed to take a while. I thought it was sparing no expense attacking it, but no, no. Might have to put on more shielding. As you can see, I've already started to like place things on the out outside. I've actually got a Vorion on here, and still, this thing is weaker than my previous ship. Well, damage is higher, quite a lot higher, but. In armor and shielding and health, it's low. Otherwise, what I could do, quickly fly away a bit until I'm outside of the range of most of its lasers, because that's what's doing most of the damage. And both my weapons should still be able to hit, because they're long-range weapons. So, in other words... It's just more of reaching a distance where I can just shoot it from and it can't shoot me. You, are you in range yet? You are in range of my railguns. I don't know what he was using, but in any case he's dead now, so yeah. 
No use in worrying about that now. Now I'm definitely not going to use cheats. Even if I have to rebuild an entirely new ship, five times this one size, I will do that. Because, yeah, it's just the way it has to be. Otherwise, what I should do from here, because this one is about the same level as what my previous one was at, so then what I can do is just go pick up all this upgrade and see what I can get. And then perhaps use some stuff to build new ships. I'm not doing dealing enough damage. He's actually regenerating his shield faster than I can destroy it. My hull is not enough for the kamikaze tactic. I really do not want to use the kamikaze tactic. Though it sounds like a good idea to just take out one of these like middle sections, but let's just face it, it's going to destroy my ship and the base is going to be remain fine. And plus, it's the exact same settings as my previous ones, so. Damn, this is actually going to be a hard fight. I need more damage. And that's the weird part, because I'm doing like like 100,000 damage a few shots. And yeah, that's not enough. I thought it would be enough, but apparently not. All my railguns are overheated, now all of my cannons are overheated. I slowly work it down, and as I'm overheating, it just regenerates them. It's regenerating a shield faster than I can take it out. Yeah, it's regenerating it faster than I can take it out. It's on 82%. It's been there for super long. I get it down to about 81% and that's just back to 82%. I'll get a way of defeating this thing quite easily, but it's going to take me a while. That's what I'm going to have to do, is dupe the ship about five times and fill it up with weapons. And use said weapons to destroy the thing. Uh, use all of them, like fill them up with commanders and stuff. And I have them destroy it. The entire thing is that... Uh, I can't do this. What? That's pretty scary. I can do it. I, I literally could not destroy the end boss. And it's gonna take me a while. Oh, there we go. It's calculated. It's warp out. Get okay, warp out. <laughs> because that was dangerous. That was quite scary. Not having enough damage. Unless it scales upon what I have. Because I remember taking it way down. I still have eight of these. So it does like oh nice projectiles. I need something I can take out shields a lot better. I'm tempted to increase this, but I my ship isn't big enough. Need to increase its size by quite a lot. Which is going to make it look pretty crap. Which is not what I want. It looks amazing, but it's not there yet. It's not powerful enough. 
the volume. It works on volume, but wouldn't that mean volume is size? This is total like mass, like solid mass. So technically, what I could do is grab whichever resource I have the most of, which is currently a volume, because I cheated much of it in. And I still can't even beat it if I scale this thing up to like a massive, a massive cube on a bar. Volume is 19,000. It gives me three extra. <laughs> I can work. I don't even know what this thing does. I'm assuming it creates wormholes wherever you want to fly to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff a bunch of Zotan artifacts into my ship. Thereby increasing the amount of weapons I can wield. Since if Orion, it shouldn't get destroyed easily. Too easily, in fact. What should these do? 1200. So, why am I using those when I've got ones that do. Oh, that's not perfectly lined up. There, one right there. Can I place one right there? No, I should place it behind. An off center. That's not gonna work. Let me go and grab these again. Place one. A little there and one in the middle here. Let us see here these. Shoot until overheated. So they can shoot for longer. And they can pierce shields. That is good. I'm going to move all those. Replace them. There's exactly 20 rail guns on here. Should hopefully work to kill it. These are a bit bigger than the previous ones. Just a bit. Okay, well, how many do I still have left of these? Eight. I don't know where I'm going to put them. We'll be right on the edge here. Something like that, and then next to this one. There. How many more slots do I have? About eight more, or six more rather. See if there's anything that does a mass amount of damage still, so, or has shield penetration capabilities with a lot of damage. Because I need to get through that shield. 11% chance to get through the shield and does a hundred and something extra armor damage. Ooh, 433% 33 damage to the shielding. But it has independent targeting, so not really preferable. Now where is the laser, sir? But the dogs just, I remember a laser being like Crazily high damage. Just somewhere. Cannons do lots of damage. 
Most of this stuff don't do that much damage, which is kind of sad. You see here, ooh, times two. Chain guns. I really like chain gun. Of course they're going to shoot at me. Well, I could really use some more, some different upgrades. Actually, what I should be doing in the yeah, after one, I should be applying all of this to them. All of the guns are. Now what I could do is remove one of these, which should shrink me down to extra. Could you please like uh, disappear? <laughs> no, I just made him disappear just like that. What I need is some gunners. I need some crew, but I don't have that Lua anymore. So let me do a little cut here. And we are back. Found it, and I'm going to use it to add crew. Now, oh, I am overpopulated like crazy. Why is this ship turning so slowly now? Unexplainable. Well, I do a lot more damage. But this ship is virtually uncontrollable right now. Why is that? Oh, it's probably because of all the mass, yes. All the mass I had to add, I completely forgot about it. Let me quickly go and grab some thrusters. And just a bunch of large thrusters on either side of this thing. Just so I can get some movement back. So I can aim a bit better. This is like literally a cannon right now. I need more engines though. A Lorian thrusters. Let's go for a couple of really long slit engines. For Lux, you know? For Lux. Full looks of interesting engines. There goes my energy as well. What I should have done is instead of using armor blocks, a hull block inside of here, what I should be using is the, where is it, energy generator. Replace, uh, I need more. Let me delete some of this thrusters. I need more everything. <laughs> uh, that is a bit crazy. I literally require a crap ton. Oh, and this should, this should be enough energy, correct? Yeah, that is. That is. Gigawatt recently lost. So let's see here. Does it. Yeah, this is enough. Though I did just reduce my controllability like crazy. So what I'm going to do is organize thrusters. Now, let us head back. Unless I could find something that boosts my shield like crazy. Which I could really use. Right about now. 
I could also use some more engines. Let us redesign this a little bit. Where is the shield generator? Can I replace this with a shield generator? Yes, I can. I cannot replace that with a shield generator because I do not have the type of money to. Evorion, I mean a Organite because it's currently the best, cheapest material that I've got for building thrusters out of. This is actually made the ship actually have more mass, so I can fit in, well, I, I could fit in that one, but I can actually fit in two now. Let me use one of these to boost up the what is it called again? Energy. I mean the the engines actually fly around now. This is literally a box on the bottom. Hey, there's a shield up right there. Uh, how, how good is it? Durability generated energy. I don't really mind using a bit of generated energy as long as I get more shielding. Let's see what that is. Just pick up some of this upgrades. It's probably going to end up being a bit longer than usual. What I actually require is more crew because I need my crew in order to pilot the ship around. So what we're going to keep to do is match block, mirror it on the x-axis. Okay, so I can't build it there. But what I could do is build it on top of here. Why is it two? Uh, okay. Do not go match block. Or, yeah, match block. I don't want match block. I want it to. Here it goes. Uh, here we go. This is the way I want it to spread out. That should be enough. And I can use this to populate my ship. It should be overpopulated now. And then let's quickly just go destroy that ship for one. Just annihilate and see what we can find. And how much repairs will cost this thing? Ah, <laughs> ridiculous amounts. In any case, I do believe we can go take it on now. We can go and kill it. Or at least we should be able to now. At least because we've got enough uh, weapons. I guess if I had like crazy tons of good uh, chain guns and I would have gone for complete chain guns because chain guns that don't overheat that would be good. What I can hope for is that small amount of actually going straight through the shield. What I do believe is that oh I'm actually damaging his hull instead of a shield. <laughs> the tables have turned. But I do believe there is the uh, there is an option of destroying the enemy ships because that takes down its shield as well. But in any case, I do believe that this works a little bit more efficiently. Because we're slowly taking down his hull and he's only on our shields. So it should work fine. What I could do is quickly check out here. Any sensors and cargo space now? No good power ups. No good upgrades. But in any case, we're about as far through his hull as he is through our shield. Which is good. Really good. We might actually beat him. Though our hull is pretty low. But it should be higher thanks to that giant block on the bottom now. The ship is looking ridiculous. 
Granted, I did not want to resort to this, but hey, I need it. So this is the Wormhole Guardian. Apparently, I just finally read its name, the Wormhole Guardian. Zotan Wormhole Guardian, which means it is supposed to guard, well, you know, wormholes. So this is probably where I get that wormhole generator thingy that allows me to warp anywhere. Probably. And uh, probably through all those like gateways and stuff, like the the impassable objects and stuff. So yeah. It's scary what I had to resort to in order to just kill this boss. I had to resort to actually going straight through his shields, focusing on ignoring his shields and actually build like a massive ship in order to fit enough weapons in order to kill it. This is actually pretty crazy. There's no way I would ever be able to get this much Avorium, even in a month month of gameplay. Well, if I played constantly, straight during the day, but hey. And I wanted to play other things as well. So, in other words, we're just going to kill him. Look at him die. Though we are taking out quite a lot of his uh, hull. Which is actually quite good. The problem is we are reaching a point where it's hard to shoot him because there isn't much to shoot left on that spot because he keeps on falling apart, breaking pieces. Stuff like that. Because that's how this game works, sadly enough. And all my weapons just overheated. I really wish there was a uh, upgrade or something that reduces the time it overheats. There could be something they could they should add. So, uh, developers, if you are watching this video, add an upgrade that allow that shortens the time that weapons are on cooldown, basically, or something like that. Because that could really help you uh, win a battle. But I must admit that this ship looks amazing as it's shooting here. Mainly these uh, rail guns. These rail guns look amazing. Not that the cannons look bad. The cannons also look pretty good. However, most of my shots are just like piercing the shield and then just dealing actual damage. Well, then of course I've got 20. Yeah, I've got about 20 rail guns that can pe penetrate the shield, and it's about a 30%, I believe. We see here they have a 26% chance to break it. So, uh, give or take two of them. Because I, I, I looked at the average here as well. Two, two and a half per round that actually penetrates the shielding. What's the average? Just a rough average. Let's move a bit down to that clump down there. Take some of that clump away. It's still going to take a while. Still going to take a while. Even with all of this, it's still gonna take a while. By the way, what is my hull at? Nine. Is it 900? Yeah, it's 900, and I should be able to survive for at least a while. Hopefully, long enough so that I can take out its 13 million hull. That is still left. It's on 66%, I'm at about just past 50% of my shielding. So yeah, 
going slowly, but it's working. It's working. In any case, we will be able to defeat it. So, easiest way to defeat the final boss is not focus on a shielding, because uh, shielding is damn tough. What I would suggest is getting a bunch of weaponry that can pass straight through the shields and then building a really tanky ship. Keeping one of the uh, Zotan alive, preferably something with a railgun. I mean, no, no railgun, a bunch of chain guns since chain guns are a lot easier to deal with, uh, a lot easier to block with shielding. And make sure you have enough so you can just gun down the uh, boss with just your basic weapons. So give or take five or six Zotan artifacts with high damage weaponry that can almost every single time pierce the shield. I'm supposing you can actually destroy this with chain guns if you have really good chain guns. Like say crafted chain guns. And like 500 of them. Like literally just guzzle like 500 bullets a second in mean 5000 rounds a second at this base per 50 turns, oh, or per one turn for 50 turns. That could work, could work. Don't know how good, but it should work. In any case, uh, I believe I've just gained some assistance. Yeah! Gained some assistance! Because actually attacking it as well. But sadly he has to start with shield. Which means not good for him. About a quarter, just above a quarter of my health left, and his the Zotan boss is about at 50% of his hull. It's going slow, and my shielding might not hold. But hopefully they don't start destroying my weapons. Because if they start destroying my weapon, and of course now it's attacking me. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I told you to, sh to, to shut up, but you didn't listen. Now you're dead. What I want is something to boost my shield regeneration. It's one for power generation, but that's not going to help me much. How is it? Because my shield is starting to worry me. So yeah, it's starting to worry me to the point of... Because uh, I don't want to have the ship get damaged. Because if I lose some of my weapons, because my weapons are at the top and that's mainly where they're shooting. If I lose my weapons, then... Uh, that would make it so that I can't deal as much damage and that'll detriment me to the point of me not being able to kill this boss. Might be able to take it out a bit quicker if I can take out some of these side sheetings. So now that's a thing, you can take out the uh, tendrils that are connecting two points and then the higher health point will be the main ship, but it will lose all the armor points or hull points from the other section that got blown off. So if I can take a that section, I believe the section on the left will be the main section. Depends. But if I can do that, then that would mean that It'll lose a lot more health in comparison to what it's currently losing.
And we should actually be attacking like a spot like there. But I'm afraid of my weapons will miss. So yeah. Like some of them already are. I might have to do a bit of a retreat soon. Yeah, that section should drop the hull by at least a, a good amount. The problem is you don't know how much health a section has left. So otherwise if I could check that and I could see how long it would take me to take out that specific section that I'm targeting right now. And then I can take that section out and then drop down a massive amount of, a, of health. Okay, this is starting to worry me. Might have to uh, go away a bit and allow it to regenerate a little bit and regenerate my shielding. Because this. It's not dying, guys. It's it's not feeling it even. And we are back. Uh, sorry about that. My uh, recording stopped because of lack of space on my PC. So uh, it regenerated back by about four percent by now. Yeah, it was on. Um, wait, it wasn't 44% last time I checked when I ran away. So it's about two full percent that it has regenerated. Other than that, not much has happened except for me running away and regenerating my entire shield, stuff like that. No, 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 no. Oh, did I lose any weapons? Did I lose weapons? I, it would not appear that I lost them. Lose weapons. Not yet. Anyways. There, shoot over there. I can a hard chunk of hull. In any case, I need to wait for everything to recharge. They're uneven now. I like it even. But I guess I just gotta take it out. Should work if I can take out this portion. I got my shield is not very good. It would appear my shield is not at all good. It is dying again at max speed this time. But if I can take out a link like right there shooting at currently, it should destroy this entire separate section by just having it pop off and uh, remove its hull from the entire station that I'm trying to stop. So in other words, uh, I just need to go do that. Uh, this could take a while. It could take a really long while. Got to start my timer so I can see precisely how long this episode is going to be, but however long it is, it is the end boss. So, it is the Zotan Wormhole Guardian. So, whatever it gives me is probably really good. I've taken it down to below what it was before, so. And about 40% to go, so yeah. We definitely got it easy, but now we have to wait for all our damn Rogans to restore. Because otherwise I can't deal damage. Because otherwise all I'm doing dealing damage to is the shielding, which is not good. Yeah, I'm definitely counteracting that region of it. Quite quite nice thing. 
Because this thing can repair like crazy. It's about oh, uh, 0 0.2 seconds every second. 0.2% uh, of its hull every second. It's got massive repair. And on top of that, its shielding is even worse. Take out a shielding, I do believe you need to take out, say, the Zotan. This would go a lot quicker if I can take out a shielding. But the entire problem with that is that by taking out a shielding, I need to kill a bunch of the smaller people, which is actually reducing my overall damage and allowing it to regenerate. Which is exactly what I'm what I don't want. All I need to do is sever this line. If I can sever this connection right there, then it'll drop down by at least a percent or two of hull. Maybe even five. If I can reduce its hull to nearly nothing, then uh, yeah, that could really help. So yeah, this is all I'm going to be doing. Final fight will be defeated through a, well, let's just say a sneaky method. A method that is less traveled by people, which is exactly what I am used to doing. I take the road less traveled by. Because, let's just face it, that's, that's the fun road, that's the fun road. The actually part is like a hundred or so fighters, like a f as many battalions of fighters as you can hold in your ship. Then you send them against the main body and then you just like take out all the uh, creatures around that it spawns in thereby reducing its shield into nothing and then the fighters can get through and destroy it. Unlike what I'm doing now, which is no fighters, just me relying on a 26% chance to penetrate the shield. Granted, I can't spawn in more, like, weapons, but yeah, that's gonna be... It's gonna feel like I'm cheating again. Granted, it was not fun building the ship, like, by cheating in the resources. It was not fun at all. Okay, this is taking way too long. I think it might just be better to focus on por portions like that. Because that apparently takes down... A yeah, look at, look at how fast I'm taking down this home now. With those small portions right there. His hull is dropping at a massive speed because now I'm actually destroying items on it instead of just dis damaging a block. It's actually dealing with quite a lot more damage. Now you know what you must do. Never build your ship out of a bunch of small parts. Because uh, somebody with a railgun is gonna like approach you and be like, "Hey, want to duel you?" And it just like takes out all of your small armor uh, armor spots. All those fine details on your ship—that's actually a weak point, apparently. Twenty-five percent from from thirty-three to twenty-five percent in a couple of seconds. That's the way you're supposed to be doing it. This part, this part had a lot of small parts. A lot of easy to destroy small parts that just die. They just take so much of this hull away with them. So much hull and all those small pieces. That's actually really scary. 
22%. I've reduced this thing by quite a lot. I just regenerated so that portion does not have a lot of destructible parts. Ooh, there's a bunch. Oh, I'm loving that part. It's all these decorative stuff that they did that's actually making it weak against the way I'm fighting currently. See here, somewhere around here there's bound to be more smaller parts. They can take out with a massive focus on speed. Because if I can find a bunch of those, like the right there, then I can actually take out quite a lot of his armor and one volley. Nineteen percent. Just hit eighteen percent there for a while. Ooh, right there, chimney stacks. They might. Well, I say chimney stacks, but you don't get chimney stacks in space. It's just the equivalent of what they look like. They look like chimney stacks to me, so I dubbed them chimney stacks. In any case, stuff like that right there will die pretty quickly. But we're gonna focus on them. 17.5% left. We just gotta keep on moving around, finding weak spots, and exploiting them. Because heavy hull you can take out very easily, but light hull, like thin pieces of hull, they apparently you can take out quite nicely. And also deal a lot of damage. So I'm probably going to focus on those. Granted, this ship is actually, and this station is actually built quite nicely. 15%. actually going quite quickly. What we should be doing is moving over to a different section because this section I don't believe has much more small portions left. Unless I try and take out a portion like that. Right there. Yeah, this might work. It's hard to hit, but I can hit it and destroy those two pillars there. It should ooh, one, one's gone, one's gone. If I can take out the other one, then this entire top part should dislocate, We're taking a bunch of its hull with it. One break. Can we see what I'm aiming? Okay, cannons were a bad idea. What you want is railguns, because railguns don't block your vision. Come on, why is it not breaking? Those aren't connected, so it's just. Ooh, there's a nice thin part. 
If you hit that tin for a couple of times, it should break and then thereby removing this entire top part from the main structure. Let's see here, come on. Just break. That's all you need to do. Nice, nah, it's the same problem I had on the other side. Let us destroy this bar. It has a nice amount of uh, detailing on it. And as you can see, that is working against it again. Might be able to destroy it with just attacking the detailing. All this thin armor bits that they used to make it look cool is actually not helping in the metal. It's actually weakening the design. And my shielding is incredibly low again. It's not good. I don't like how low my shielding is currently. And it's on the last quarter, so... Same thing, he's on the last quarter of his uh, hull, and I'm on the last quarter of my shielding. So yeah, so yeah. So yeah, this could only end in my victory. Because I could always run again, uh, run away again, like just retreat, and then return once my hull regenerated for a bit. I need to find a weak spot again. Right there. Right there somewhere. Right over there there's a bit more to destroy. I'm just focusing on the small details that will do a lot of damage. What it could be is if you go to the bottom, then I'm certain there's going to be more on the bottom, which there is quite a lot of. Damn! 7%. But now, of course, I'm about oh, like two or three percent of my armor still left, my shielding still left. For the sake of shortening this, I'm probably going to just tank it out. Probably just going to take a few shots if my shielding runs down. This is not reducing the health by enough going to jump to a new section. See how much damage I can do here. A couple of the points of a percent. Brought it down to six percent. This is a problem with fighting like this, you need to find a spot where you can take a bunch of things through the shielding. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to defeat this. And my shielding is officially gone. You know what, I'm gonna quickly fly away and I'll just quickly regenerate some of my shielding at least. Just like a small amount of shielding just so that I can survive because this is... They're dealing a lot of damage and I don't want to lose this ship. Well, technically I don't really care about the ship but... It's more of... Uh, I don't want to lose any of my weapons because my weapons are there for taking a dealing damage. 
Ooh, this part is good. He might die. Okay, my shield is now gone. So also allowed my weapons to recharge a little bit. And almost there. It's gone. <laughs> He's dead now. So then, uh, let's take out this last enemy, if I can. Well, can I actually hit you? There we go. Now, what did this thing drop? Ooh, right there. Right there, there is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. Damn. A lot of upgrades, a lot of weapons. Don't I need any. And I'm assuming a decent amount of credits? No, nope, no credits. And in any case, see you guys next series. And please do like, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. And perhaps tell me if you want to see a second season of this. I would be glad to do that. See you guys then. And... Goodbye.